The next form of the minor scale that we're going to be learning about is the harmonic minor scale. It's really almost exactly like natural minor except the seventh scale degree is raised by a half step. So the one we listened to a little while ago was a, ma a minor, a natural minor. So that was a natural minor, but when you change it to harmonic, you raise the seventh, which makes it sound like this. So you'll hear that between the... There's a larger jump between the sixth, the seventh, it becomes rather than what it was, which was just a whole step, it's now a whole plus a half step, which then creates only a half step between the da da. It's kind of a leading tone if you've ever heard that word before, because that half step makes your ear go to the back to the tonic, which is your first scale degree. So harmonic minor. Maybe some people think it sounds a little more exotic, a little more Middle Eastern, a little more something. And if you're in a song that's in minor, you don't have a separate key signature for a harmonic minor. Some people have asked me that before. You're still going to see a key signature for whatever the natural minor is, but within the song, all of those seventh scale degrees will be raised by the use of accidentals, by the use of either a natural sign or a sharp. So let's proceed on and let's learn the pattern for harmonic minor and how we're going to work that on the staff. Now we're going to learn a little bit about harmonic minor. As you just heard on the example on the piano, there's a larger distance between the sixth and seventh scale degrees, which then creates a smaller distance between the seventh and eighth scale degrees, which sort of gives it an exotic sound, a little bit maybe some people think it sounds a little Asian or Middle Eastern, but the reason is because there is that greater distance between the sixth and seventh. So really all that you need to do to do harmonic minor is that you're going to take the natural minor, which we already have learned and hopefully you've already mastered, and you're going to raise the seventh scale step by a half step. So let me show you what I mean on the board. If for instance we were in, and let's just first take A minor since that's the most simple one where it's only regular letters, there's no sharps, there's no flats. And I'll, I guess I'll write all this in since I make you do it. I might as well do it myself to show you how fast and easy it is. We heard we will have winter weather. So that's my natural minor, which you already know how to do. To make this harmonic minor, you raise the seventh scale degree by a half step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's just the second to last one, so you don't always have to count to seven. Raise it by a half step. Since this is just a plain old G, how do I raise that by a half step? And remember, we can't change this to a different letter. It has to be a G something. I'm gonna just add a ding ding sharp. And that's it, we've created harmonic minor. Now, is this still a half step now between F and G sharp? It's not. What is it? Between F and G sharp, well, let's count up. F, there's a half step. Another half step takes me to G and yet another half step takes me to G sharp. So you can think of it as three half steps or to make it more simple, let's just call it whole step plus half step. Whole plus half, okay? Basically, it's the same as one and a half or three half steps, however you wanna think about it. Since we've raised that G sharp, it's like this distance has gotten larger, but since the A didn't go anywhere, the distance between the seventh and eighth has gotten smaller. Between G sharp and A, is that a whole step anymore? Nope, this is now a half step, all right? So the pattern, if you wanna go directly to harmonic minor without raising or having to remember which one to raise, you can just memorize this pattern. We heard we will have winter hailing, I don't know, something, Heather. I'm just playing, but you can make up your own sentence or just remember, same as natural minor, except there's that whole plus half going to the H at the end, going to the half step at the end. Remember though, if you memorize this pattern, you're not then raising the seventh. The only time you're raising the seventh is when you're going from natural minor. I really suggest doing it that way. That way you have one pattern to memorize. You memorize natural minor. You memorize that in harmonic, harmonic, 
you raise the seventh, you're good to go. But again, if you're a pattern person, if you have a really good memory and you wanna just memorize this, you use this pattern. When you use this pattern, you're already integrating in the raised seventh. So let's go ahead and let me show you an example of the way to do it with just using the pattern, okay? So if we were gonna do A and use just this pattern and go directly to A harmonic minor without having to worry about what we need to raise or whatever, we would go ahead and just write in the pattern, we heard we will have W plus H and then an H there at the end. So a whole step going up from A, it's still a B, B to C is still my half step, C to D still a whole step, D to E still a half step, E to F still a half step, but now here's the things that have changed. From F, we do whole plus half, which means we're gonna go up whole step, another half step, tells me to put a G sharp on there. Remember, between these last two, that should already be correct since you can't change that last ugly A up there that I drew. So is G sharp to A a half step? Yes. And now you're actually done. You don't need to raise anything because you've already integrated in that raised seventh. Okay, again, the way that I learned how to do it and the way that I know a lot of my students have success, especially if you're doing this from memory, is just memorizing, we heard we will have winter weather, natural minor way, raising that seventh up. Let me show you some examples of different ways that you might need to raise that seventh. So let's go ahead and let's do C harmonic minor. Okay, so let me go ahead and write in my letter C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now I'm gonna do it the way by going from natural minor and then raising the seventh. So I'm gonna do it the exact same way that we did worksheet 11, just natural minor. So I'm gonna write in, we heard we will have winter weather. I'm gonna figure that out and you're gonna help me. From C, we go up a whole step. Do I need to add anything on that D? Up a whole step, nope, we're good. From D, if I go up a half step, oop, I'm on a black key, what do I do? I'm gonna add a what? Flat. From E flat, when I go up a whole step, I'm on good old F, which you're not getting in this class, remember? From F, when I go up a whole step, I'm on plain old G. From G now, when I go up this half step, black key, that should be a little clue. You gotta add something in there usually. So we're gonna add an A flat. A flat, go up that half step, takes me to B flat. Remember at the end, if that's correct, we've done natural minor correct. From B flat to C, is that a whole step? Yes, that's natural. If the question asks for harmonic, you then do what? Raise the seventh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, now, my seventh has a flat on it. And remember, we're raising it by a half step. How do I raise a flat? What do I do? What do I do? Here's what you can do. A lot of my students just do that. Not, not really the most professional work there, but instead of just crossing it off like a crazy person, oh, and I had already forgot it down there, so hey. But anyway, the flat's on there. To raise it by a half step, you are taking it away. So really what you would probably do is put a natural on there. Because remember, in most music, you're actually gonna have a key signature at the beginning that has all these flats on there. So if you already have those flats notated at the beginning, which, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, we'll learn it way later. But those, I know there's a lot of you guys that do. The key signature is here. Then if you put your natural in your music, that tells you not to follow that B flat that would be in the key signature. So the natural here shows you that that's the raised seventh. Again, if you don't wanna do natural and then raise the seventh, you can do this exact same thing and just use the whole plus half pattern that's at the end. So let's go ahead and do that. And then you can decide which way works for you. Or you can be random and do it one way on one, another way on another. Doesn't matter, as long as you get the right answers. So let's go ahead and do it. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Let's write in the pattern for harmonic directly this time. Remember, it was we heard we will have 
have nothing clever to add here. Should have planned a little bit further in advance. But remember, this is the whole plus half and then a half. So let's go ahead and knock it out. Even though you already know the answers, pretend like you're watching or don't fast forward. Let's do it. From C, we go up a whole step, we're on D. D, we go up a half step, we're on E flat. E flat, we go up a whole step, we're already on F, so that's awesome. F, go up a whole step, we're on G. G, go up a half, flatted. A flat, now we go up whole plus half. So we were on A flat, whole step takes me to that B flat that we had earlier. One more half takes me to plain old B, so we don't do anything. Remember, at the end, that should be right, because you can never change the last note. Is it a half step between B and C? Oh, I don't show that, but this is B over here. So, yes, it is. So this is harmonic minor, using this pattern directly. You decide, method one, method two. Just don't combine the two, which I have some students have done before, and then they have some crazy scale that they made up that might be awesome, but it's just not harmonic, okay? So go ahead and do your harmonic minor homework. Raise that seventh. Don't forget, if the seventh is a plain note, you're going to just add a sharp on it. If the seventh is flat, you take that flat away. You make it natural. The seventh will never have a sharp on it in minor. But if for some reason you just want to know how you would raise a sharp, how would you raise a sharp? You would double sharp it. But that's not going to really happen. Okay? Next up, melodic minor.